What's going on guys? Welcome back to another upload. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And as always, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. So today we are very busy. Uh, my brother's actually at his house finishing up that dash so you guys can see the whole interior complete. But today we are fixing the engine bay and we are also fixing a lip that we scratched up on a curb, right? That's always awesome. So we had just painted the lip and it got scratched so we had to repaint it. So let me show you what we're dealing with. So we went ahead and reshot the lip and uh, sprayed the new black base coat on it. So right now what we're doing is we are wet sanding the orange peel off. So that way when we hit it with the clear, it's on a nice smooth surface. As it sits right now, it may not look like much but these lighter parts of the paint are the high parts that we're knocking down to uh, get a smoother surface. Tip for you guys at home, doing a rattle can job or even something like this where you use a compressor and uh, HVLP guns, you will wanna do this after doing the base coat because in an uncontrolled environment, this happens more often than not and it's kinda ugly. So go ahead and take care of it. Don't skip this step. Because we have the paint out and because we're gonna have to shoot some clear, I'm thinking that we can actually use some clear in the engine bay. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So what we've done so far to improve this is do the chrome valve cover and clean it up real nice. What we're trying to get rid of is this weird flaky clear that's just coming off of all the plastic. So we're gonna collect a couple plastics and reshoot them so that way they look really nice in this engine bay. As it is, I think this looks great, but we need to take care of that and uh, you know, spruce it up for the new owner.
right guys, we're at the point where we have to refill the system and it is not easy because we do have to make sure that we use this Venturi pump. This minimizes the air in the coolant system and that's important because we don't want any air lock happening. And oh my gosh, we've got shorts. Shorts, what do you think of the Venturi? Yeah? Sorry guys, let me feed him real quick. With shorts fed, I can finally tell you, Venturi good, airlock bad, so let's get to it. showed up to the party of course right when I finish everything right the, 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 the cavalry arrives right all right guys look at the difference that we have here it looks so much cleaner with the silicone hoses and with the new layer of clear coat on the shroud and on the, the relay cover it kind of just made everything look super clean to me anyway this is a huge step up to what it looked like before and I'll show you what it looked like before and now from the beginning of this project to the end. And of course, I mean, the chrome valve cover just makes everything look better anyway. For those of you that don't know, those are my hoses. He took them from that car. <laughs> oh, that car over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brand new silicone hoses that are gonna improve the look of our project. I mean, it does. It really does. Look at it. it looks really good. Hey guys, so, you guys just probably heard my brother talk about the vehicle and all the great uh, upgrades that he's put into it, especially those hoses. You know, we've done so much work on this car that it's just unbelievable. One of the highlighting aspects of, you know, um, working on this vehicle is actually bringing it to like really good operating uh, specs. There's a lot of vehicles out there that are leaking oil, uh, that are leaking brake fluid, and that uh, we take pride in what we do. One of the things that has come to our attention is that some E30 members don't value their vehicles as, you know, as classics, you know? And that's not what we're here to like, you know, push on to you. But we do want to tell you that we value our cars. It's not a brand new vehicle, it doesn't have air conditioning, uh, but it does have all the quality items that we, you know, seek out in a classic. So. All the extras such as like the polished, you know, or actually chrome valve cover, the silicone hoses will keep this vehicle, you know, lasting a longer, you know, longer time. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll become an heirloom for someone out there who actually values their vehicle as such. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for joining us for another awesome project like this. I hope you guys do something like this in your weekend project or just to improve your overall look of your engine bay. This, for me, was a huge step up and I hope it's a huge step up for you guys. Thank you very much for joining us and please remember to like, share, and subscribe and see you in the next one. Take care.